tons and tons of people out there. I guarantee you, like 99% of people, if you ask them if they want to make 10K plus per month, instantly, they're just going to be like, hell yeah, I want to make 10K plus per month. But then only like 1% of those people actually go and make that one 10K plus per month. So are the people, are all these people that want to make 10K plus per month, is it really that hard? Or is it that these people that don't end up making the 10K plus per month just don't really want it? If you're serious, then you'll do this one thing. There's one thing that you can do that will pretty much guarantee you to get into 10K plus per month. And not a single person who doesn't make 10K plus per month actually does this one thing. And then every single person that does make 10K plus per month does this thing. And they might not even know it, but they do it. And it's not something that's super fun. It's definitely not something that's fun, but it'll get the results. But here's the thing with fun. Fun can be anywhere, but 10K, 10K, that's monies. You can always have fun if you have the monies, but you can't always have monies with the fun. So if you do this one unfun thing, at some point in your life, I guarantee you, you get to 10K plus. And if we think about a person who has monies, someone who makes 10K plus per month, someone who's done it, they are creating something of value, therefore they get some money in return. They're sort of obsessing towards something. So they, they, they really are, are passionate about, about doing something. And that's usually, or, or basically a lot of the times is what they're doing to create value. And the third thing that will really take them to 10K and also beyond is investing in themselves. But in order to do all these things, that of course takes time. Time is the critical component. You have to dedicate time to these things. It just doesn't come. You can't say like, oh, I want 10K plus and then I want it. That means I have to do all these things, but I'm not going to dedicate any time to it. And if, well, if you don't dedicate any time, of course, you're not, you're not, you're not going to make it. There is more effective things you can do and less effective things you can do with your time. But ultimately, you have to put some effort in if you want to get something out of it. Are you starting to see a pattern here? Everybody likes the idea of the 10K plus but not everybody's willing to do it. And then the person that does make 10K plus per month, they do a certain set of things, these three things that I just mentioned, and those three things take time. So are you seeing the thing that is separating the person who's making it and who's not making it? And this one thing is what creates time. It allows you to have more time and actually do all the three things that make the 10K plus. But see, so making time sort of is that one thing, but making time is not fun. Here's why. If you think about all the things that you do with your time right now, or, or what occupies your time your most, you probably like, of course you do like the basic things like eat and sleep. Those things not necessarily fun, not fun, whatever. You can just like do sort of the necessary things. And then the rest of it is uh, maybe you have school or work, and then you have some like relaxation time or your, your fun time or your socializing time. You're like playing video games, you're watching anime, hanging out with friends, watching some TV shows, some random movie, playing, watching sports. All these things can be categorized as fun. But here's the thing. None of them, if you think about it, do any of these fall under the three things that I mentioned that is part of that person that makes 10K plus? No, none of these are a requirement. You don't need to make, you don't need to play video games. You don't need to hang out with friends. You don't need no, you don't need to watch no movies, no shows, watch no sports to make 10K plus. All those are things that you want to do for pleasure and is probably taking up the majority of your waking hours. So putting it plain and simple, plain and simple, saying exactly what it, this one thing is that you need to do is you gotta you gotta cut everything out of your life. You everything that doesn't make you money or create value or invest in yourself or, or, or as part of your who you are or, or what you want to do to eventually reach your end goal of like however much money you need to cut all of that you need to be vigorously focused and prioritized and that's by removing all these quote unquote fun things that everybody seems to get super defensive about when you tell them to remove it but then if you're serious about making 10k plus per month that's essentially what you have to do. Cutting out these fun things, most people think is really bad, but it's only bad for really one reason. It's because they have nothing else better to do. So all they do is get stuck on pleasure to essentially 
delay the feeling that they they actually need something or sort of like subdue sort of subdue the desire to actually succeed okay but but so you actually want to make the 10k plus a month and you're willing to cut out stuff but you're legitimately you don't really know what to do you don't know how to actually focus and prioritize or what to focus and prioritize on that that will eventually get you to the the, the 10k plus per month month and you want to know how so breaking it down step by step and also based on where your situation is like I, I don't really know where, where your situation is but it's very simple to actually do this you'll probably fall into one of these camps it's either you have absolutely no idea what you're doing and you have absolutely no idea where you want to go so you're essentially completely lost therefore it's quite daunting to try to figure out where you want to go and you've end up ended up just filling it up with pleasurable things to sort of occupy your mind if you're in that camp there's one set of things that you do and the second camp that you could possibly in or, or the second type of person that you could be is you actually do know what you want to do you have a skill in mind that you want to do and then you want to be able to live off of that you could potentially be that person you already know what you want to do but you just don't know how either don't know how to make a mon enough money off of it or you just you know that you want to do it and you really enjoy doing it but you just suck and so you, therefore you can't make any money off of it so those are the two things those are the two types of people that you could be right now so if you're if you're in the absolute lost you're, you're just absolutely lost here's what you should do you should first start to figure out where you want to go you can't be just running in a random direction but not knowing whether you want to go there or not you can't just be like oh i'll run this way and run this way and run this way but then you'll just kind of end up going in circles and you're not really going anywhere like running around in the dark does absolutely nothing for you and, and, and the, the chances of you actually getting to where you want to go is essentially zero so you need to figure out what you want to do who you are and, and what you want and how, here's how you do it and not going super in depth about it just keeping it as absolutely simple as possible you of course need to think about it but just sit down you, you probably need to take a couple hours like literally tur turn off like all your electronics everything like that because you don't want to be distracted you want to you want to have like your full brain power on this because you're sort of like trying to figure out like your, your future right now you're trying to figure everything out just sit down somewhere like away from any distractions get a piece of paper completely blank and like a pen and think about okay what do I want to do and you jot some ideas down and you might have like a general idea like oh I want to do like some kind of like business something or I want to have my own business or could be anything or you could say like I want to try programming I want to try video editing I want to try drop shipping Amazon FBA SMMA any kind of occupation that you could possibly think of that you could potentially be interested in L literally could be anything you could be like I want to be a bricklayer I want to be a construction worker could, could be anything okay you write all those things down everything you could possibly think of and then very simple you go and try those things you just keep going down the list and you try all those things and then as you're doing it if you immediately see like oh this this fucking sucks I, like I hate this shit then, then, then of course just cross that shit out and go to the next thing you don't need to bother don't waste your time go to the next thing and just keep going through until you find this is one particular thing that you want to look for you want to see the people around you that are doing the thing that you're doing right now and when they talk about it they're like oh yeah this fucking sucks or like I, I hate doing this and, and I hate doing it because XYZ and then you you read that and you see like hey like well this reason there's this reason there's this reason but you know I don't think those sucks I think those are fine and then you know I, I think this task is relatively okay like I like to continue doing it and all these reasons that people say that they hate it like I really don't mind so you're willing to endure the suffering that whatever task that you're doing whatever skill that you're doing in in the middle of you're willing into to endure the suffering or the suffering doesn't really mean much to you that's that's something that you really look closely to that could potentially be something you could quite effortlessly move on because where the breakthroughs happen and, and where you can really create value is go to places where others are not willing to go and if you can find something that you're willing to go the distance or, or willing to do it and others are not 
and you can do it quite effortlessly because this thing is something that basically doesn't really have any negatives to you because you think the things that other people talk about don't even suck, then you can go really, really deep where like all the super suffering is, but to you, it's not even suffering. So you can create super value there. So look really closely at things that other people think suck, but you don't. And of course, like you can think about the liking a thing, but it could be like hype in your mind. It could be something like material or whatever that you're looking at that is, is drawing you there. So the best indicator that I think is, the, is looking at the negative and whether, that, whether you actually can endure that or not. And now in, if you're in the, I already know what I want to do, but you either don't know how to make money off of it or, you're, or you just have no idea what you're doing, like, like, like you just suck. Like you know you like to do it and you enjoy doing it all the time, but you, you just goddamn suck, so you can't make any money. There's a couple of things that you can do, and these what I'm about to mention will solve your issue both monetization-wise and also if you suck. But you, you, you might have a little bit more options if you're actually already skilled. But anyways, if you so either your paths are just go all in and try to make money, make money and learn at the same time, or just straight up learn. And, and I'd say it's like sort of, sort of a continuum. You could, be, you could play somewhere on it. If you don't know how to make money now, but you, you want to figure out how to make money and you're relatively skilled, you're probably more like here. And if you have like no idea what you're doing, you, you, you sort of suck at the skill, then, then you're sort of at the bottom here. At the top where you're skilled, what you can do is look at people who have, have successfully monetized. Someone who's like sort of been there, done that, you want to very closely research what they've done to monetize and sort of try to replicate that or, or just at least get ideas off those type of people. You can like, you know, scour the internet, like find all the different people that could, that, that are doing what you want to do and making money off of it. And then writing down like, what is it that they're actually doing and what can you do right now to implement some of those to make money? If you're on the other end of the side, the, the continuum, then you would want to you of course want to learn and the, the learning piece I, I think is quite interesting because uh, of course it, it doesn't matter who you are you'd still want to continuously learn because as I mentioned one of the things that, that makes someone into 10k plus is to invest in themselves and that's what I mean by, by continuously learning to be able to create more and more value so if you suck at your skill you of course need to learn and that learning comes from just looking on the internet but of course it's a little bit unstructured you you sort of need to know where you're, you're like you need to know the questions that you need to ask so you can create your own projects and then sort of implement the skill and then try to answer as many questions as you can sort of as they come along to learn as best as possible and this is a little bit a more of an organic way to learn and then also a free way or of course you can buy a course which is is is, a, is potentially an option if you just want to quickly get some structure, some solid structured information to, to quickly learn something. But of course, like do some good research if you're going to buy a course because you don't want to get like scammed or anything like that. But what I recommend the most is actually get a job. And I know a lot of you are probably thinking like, oh, I don't want ever want to get a job. And I was in this camp too. I didn't ever want to get a job. I don't want to get 95, but you know, like uh, I am right now and I'm on a business trip for my nine to five. So uh, I guess I did get a 95 and it is something that's potentially useful for you. And here's why it's because you can both learn and make money at the same time. So this is a potentially option that's right in the middle. That could be someone who's trying to monetize and also for someone who, who doesn't quite have the skills yet. If you get a job, you can both learn from that job, considering it's the right one. And also you're getting paid for it. And then at the same time you're at your job, you can of course continuously keep on doing your, your learning and then, and then also taking action on trying to build out your own monetization stream and eventually you sort of like a, you, you drift yourself up and then go, go off on your own once you've, you've learned enough on both the monetization and skill side wherever you are. If I'm, if I'm boiling it all down, making 10K plus per month is really as simple as figuring out who you are and what you want and then going all in on it, basically being the most you, you, you could possibly be. And that's what makes you the monies. And if you do you the most you possibly can, you'll be well on your way to making the monies.